My whole career from the amateurs to the pros was back to back to back to back and I never had any time off. I wanted a time off period. I did everything in a short amount of time and it was fast track through the amateurs. Bam, bam, bam. Fight after fight after fight. It was crazy. In the pros, I had 11 fights in one year. But I haven't missed a step. I'm still that same guy, but better, sharper, and tightened up. I had two fights in 2017. You know what I'm saying? Tune-up fights. I got what I needed from them. It was just what I had to do before going back up to the big leagues. It's a process, that's all. Absolutely, I have enjoyed every minute. The training is hard, but it's worthwhile to get me where I want to be. I'm going to get my belt back. That wasn't a fight. I don't consider that a real fight, man. He never saw me. There was no Charles Martin. People don't know. That's why a lot of the people that were there with me aren't around me now. Dumb decisions cost people their jobs. The experience was cool. It didn't go how I wanted because of things that happened during the process. It wasn't perfect for sure. I'm smarter now. I don't do the things I used to do. I'm better at decision making. I'm wiser and older. That's the key. Yes, I come back. There's good people in the UK. Absolutely. I don't have no regrets. So those are the words of former IBF World Heavyweight Champion Charles Martin. He might be the shortest. He's certainly one of the shortest reigning IBF Heavyweight Champions in history. There were others, of course, who were very short-lived champions. How long did Buster Douglas hold the undisputed heavyweight title before he was knocked out by Holyfield. I can't remember now. It wasn't long anyway. Uh, but there may have been a shorter-lived IBF champion than him too. But Charles Martin, talking about coming back, the reaction for most fans is they're laughing at him. They're saying, who the hell is this guy thinking, thinking he can come back and can get his belt back from Joshua? This is ridiculous. This is silly. So on and so forth. Well, Charles Martin is still a relatively young man. Maybe he's spent a lot of that $5 million or whatever it was that Eddie Hearn paid him for the Joshua fight. I don't know. So perhaps money is his motivation. But even if money is his motivation, that don't mean he can't make a go of it. That don't mean he can't somewhat redeem himself. I said at the time when Anthony Joshua beat Charles Martin that we won't know how good that win was until years down the line because we need to see what Charles Martin can actually do. Because other than Joshua, he ain't lost a fight. So if he can come back and actually get some decent wins under his belt, that'll make Joshua look good. That'll put that win into perspective. But maybe he can't do that. Maybe he really is the worst heavyweight champion in history or one of the worst heavyweight champions in history. And that Joshua was incredibly fortunate to have faced that man in his first heavyweight title fight. Again, we won't know until years down the line when we see what Charles Martin can actually do. But I'm not going to be ridiculing Charles Martin for coming back. The man's got pride. The man's got, I guess, some ambition left. So I'm not ridiculing him for that. I was very disturbed by the videos that he posted <laughs> in the months following the Joshua loss, where he appeared to be out of it. I don't know what he'd been drinking or taking or who knows. But I was pretty disturbed by that. And he obviously got shot as well, Charles Martin. Uh, during the period following the Anthony Joshua loss. So, <clears throat> yeah, let's see if he can come back and do anything. However, his first comeback fight, as it says here in the article, is a tough one. He faces the unbeaten Adam Kaunaki, who is a good friend of Jarrell Miller, by the way, on September 8th. And that'll be on the undercard of Sean Porter versus Danny Garcia at the Barclays in Brooklyn, New York. So if Charles Martin has anything, if he is real, if he can actually fight, we'll find out on September 8th when he takes on Kalnaki. Now Kalnaki is a tubby heavyweight of Polish origin who's relatively untested and unbeaten himself. Uh, sorry, relatively untested and unproven himself. He did beat Arta Spilka. But off the top of my head, I can't remember who else Kalnaki has beaten of any note. And <laughs> people are going to say Spilka's 
not anybody special. But we've heard of Spilker. He's been in a world heavyweight title fight. He's fought Bryant Jennings, Deontay Wilder, you know, a bunch of people that we know. I think he even fought Adamek, didn't he? Didn't he beat Adamek? So we know him. Kalnaki beat him. Let's see what Charles Martin's about in this particular fight. Because Kalnaki has been fighting better opposition than Martin's been fighting lately. Kalnaki has got the bit between his teeth. He's got the momentum behind him. Let's see if he can take it to Charles Martin and get something done. One thing I can say about Charles Martin prior to the Joshua fight, and, you know, he didn't fight particularly good opposition. He won his world title off of Glasgow because Glas Glasgow injured his knee. <laughs> you know, that was very fortunate for Charles Martin to be able to pick up a title in that way. And what has happened to Glasgow since? We ain't seen him since. Where is Glasgow? I think I might have done a video about him a long, long time back in terms of what has happened to him since the Charles Martin fight, but I can't even remember what I said in that video, <laughs> if I did make said video. So, yeah, Kalnaki has got the momentum. He's been fighting better opposition. That doesn't bode well for Charles Martin, but as I was going to say, prior to the Joshua fight, Charles Martin did appear to be a decent puncher. He's a southpaw, and he seemed to have a decent amount of power in that left hand. Does he have enough power to deter Adam Kalnaki from coming in on him? Because Kalnaki is pretty much a pressure fighter. As I say, tubby heavyweight fights, very similar actually to his good friend, Jarrell Miller. Not as impressive to me as Miller is from what I've seen of him so far. But yeah, a similar kind of style, similar kind of approach. He'll be looking to walk Charles Martin down and get the job done against the Southpaw, just like he did against Spilka, who's also a Southpaw. Let's see. And if Martin can come through this and win, and win impressively, that'll be one step on the road to redemption. Do I think that Charles Martin can win the heavyweight title back? I wouldn't put a penny on it. <laughs> but, stranger things have happened. I can tell you that. Particularly in the heavyweight division over the years, stranger things have happened. Anyway, drop your comments in the comment section below. Let me know how you feel about everything I've talked about in this video. All right? It's Hatman. I'm out.